What is going on everyone? This is Saint Denial and you are watching episode 7 of the Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke series. This episode looks like it's going to be another gym battle, hopefully unless there's some stupid scripted thing that I've got to do before and then we'll see where we're going from there. Um, I'm thinking, oh there's the gym, that's the first time I've seen that so that's good. I'm thinking we're probably ready for the gym, I'm feeling pretty leveled. I've got uh, my water at level 21, my saviour. Uh, I've got Bugcatcher who's a Sparrow at 18, Bonnie who is a uh, Growlithe at 16, and Dishy, my Oddish, at level 17. And it's a nice type gym, if I remember rightly. And what's this guy got to say? Left my mouth in the daycare. I'm going to go take it. So, last episode really wasn't very eventful. I took Porygon and Doduo uh, off of the team just because I can't bother having them there. They're annoying. I'd rather have space in my party than have them in the party, which is really a testament to how much I hate them. And uh, also, we got from Haywood Town to here. That was the whole episode. Like, it took that long. So, there's the name rate. Uh, I don't really change any Pokemon names. Let's see who's in here. My husband is addicted to the slots. I hope the daycare man is taking good care of my Pokemon. And I'm guessing this is the husband. Hmm, which book should I pick out of the shelf? Oh no. I mean, if you're addicted to the slots, you're not stood looking at a bookshelf. Are you? You're at the slots, doing slots. Anything else worth seeing in this town? What have we got here? Just nothing again, that sign. This is Daycare Man, I guess. Oh, and Daycare, would you like to raise one of your Pokemon? Uh, yeah, actually, but not any that I've got with me at the minute. I'll bring one back to you. Uh, let's have a look. What is going on? Okay, so that fence there's a nothing fence. I can't get past that. This is back where that guy was. Okay. Pokemon Center. Gym. Okay, so I, it looks like the only way in and out of this town was the way I came in. Or to surf south. But I can't surf. So, looks like the only thing I can do is the gym. Let's get stocked up on some potions. We'll take six of those, thank you. And we'll also get stocked up on... Uh, wait. No, that's all I need, actually. I've got a couple of ice heels already in case I get frozen in the ash gym. So, let's take a... Tell you what, actually, let's go to Route 49 and get an encounter first. Because there's a route right here that I've not been to before. Oh, I just walked into a building. I didn't even realise that was the way in. What's this guy got to say? Excuse me. You need a bicycle for cycling road. Okay, so that's cycling road. I'm guessing cycling road then is how you get to the uh, Johto region. Walked into the binoculars. People swimming. What, on cycling road? I'm looking for shelter. I'm going to trade one for Rhyhorn. Don't have a shelter, sorry. Oh, that would make that trade because that's pretty good. Walked into the binoculars. Haywood City. Mm. I feel like these binoculars aren't facing the right way somehow. Uh, and I can't go that way because whatever that guy said, cycling road, blah blah blah. So, let's just get an encounter down here. It's another Spearow. Uh, I'm, I am using the dupes clause in this Nuzlocke, so because I've already got a Spearow, oh, I can't run away because it outspeeds. Yes, I can. Okay. Because I've already got a Spearow, that's not my encounter. I'm going to keep going until I get something that's not something that I've already had. Uh, if I can get something that I've not already had. Um, <sighs> or do I just catch another Spearo? Might be what has to happen here. Rattata, right. Okay, I've not had a Rattata, so this is my encounter. I have no choice on that now. So, let's take out Rattata. And... Seem to be ah, yeah. last episode. I was really happy with the right there. I was battling because it had Hyperfang, which was absolutely destroying me left, right, and center. So if this guy learns Hyperfang pretty soon, then oh, that was nearly a bad accident. Oh man, button mashing. Speaking of accident, that is that's an enc another encounter I've just given away. For goodness sake. Oh well, it was only a Rattata, and I got my Dishy leveled up from it, so that's pretty cool. Battle some of these trainers, get leveled, 
to sort this gym out. Do 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 do. So Spearow again. I'm gonna go for this shit. Now I'm weak to you, Spearow, aren't I? Yes, I am. So let's get the poison and we'll swap out. I'm not weak to Fury attack though. And we get the poison and I'm gonna wimp out and we'll get Bonnie in there, who is not weak to Spearow. Oh, unless it knows wind type moves because stupid timing. Typing thing. <sighs> Probably does as well. Let's go for the bite. Goes for growl. That's going to lower my attack. Should still be high enough to do some damage though, and the poison's going to keep doing that damage as well. Yeah, good, good, good. Let's try the ember and see whether that does anything at all. Misses with its attack. Gets the ember. Oh, yeah, that's more. This will be it. The Fury Attack hits. Now, this Fury Attack... Oh, if that hits five times, that's going to be close. There's the second. Gets three. Come on. There we go. Poison hits. Get the Ember. Okay. Every battle is so tense when you're playing a Nuzlocke. I'm about to use Nidu. Oh, St. Jean's Pokemon. It's another bird. And we're going to go for Savior. It's a dark type as well, isn't it? Yeah. Unless the typing's changed. I think that might be the first Gen 2 Pokemon that we've seen so far. Natu, Natu, Nato, Natu. That might be the first one. Welcome to Generation 2. I think it's really cool that, they, that he's managed to put uh, Gen 2 Pokemon into Gen 1. Shout out to Coolboy, man. That is cool. What is your favourite Gen 2 Pokemon? Let me know in the comments. I would like to know. Mm, I'm trying to think what mine is now. I quite like Feraligator. I've got a Feraligator going on my Fire Red randomised Nuzlocke that I'm playing at the minute that I'm not doing as a series. I'm just playing it for fun. Not that doing the series isn't fun. I'm having a blast. Back. Ah, I don't even remember what the typings are on there. Okay, so it outspeeds, so I can't get a go against it. Just sure we go for Woodcatcher. Got our own Spiro out there. Get some damage done. That's the growl, don't do much. That's going to finish him off. And there it is. Oh, he's got four Pokemon. Jeez, this could be a long battle. Close to the Pidgey. I'm going to hit the Pick. Pick attack. Does decent damage. Pet does a lot of damage. That was more than I thought. So let's have a go on Swift for the first time. Oh, that Swift is powerful. Yeah, well, I'm glad I got that. And I'm glad I taught it to Bugcatcher as well. Spiro and Fero normally not Pokemon that I'm not interested in, not really bothered about training, but I'm gonna go for it with this Spiro. I'm gonna make him an MVP. And I'm just gonna beat this Spiro here as well. It's swift -ness. Let me know as well if, if anybody knows. Is Swift priority a priority move? Like you know, like quick attack and stuff like that. Does it always go first or is that something I'm just making up? I'm guessing because it's called Swift, that would make sense. That, you know, you're Swift. You're Swift enough to hit first. Let's go for the Swift again. Yes, this is so bad. Yeah, that's powerful. I like that. Supersonic misses. Thank the Saviour War Turtle for that because I don't think I could cope with getting confused by his move that one more time. Beats Birdkeeper. He's not very happy. Give me some Dora. Take on the last guy. Oh, these are all bird keepers. Interesting. Which means he's gonna have something that I'm gonna have to switch out because I've got Ooh, a level 18 Spearow. That is pretty wild. Save you can just go out there and take him out. Not taking any risks with this one. Because he could easily just hit something very, very high damage and just take me out with one shot. So Strongest, tankiest guy out. Hit with a couple of bites. 
lowers the attack, so maybe Otsuzu could more help and bite, but it misses. And it goes for the Fury attack. Fury attack scary? No, it's not that scary actually. It's not scary when you're the savior of the whole Pokemon race. Easy. Down it goes. Well, I don't think anyone leveled up from those battles, but it's a bit of experience still. Guess it's a little bit closer. I'm happy with that. Happy with the result there. So let's go to the centre, which is there. And have a look in that tall building there as well. Actually, before I go to the gym, keep the gym towards the end here. So and have a look at this big old tower. Let's see if there's actually anything in it. So, oh, this is the game corner. Cool. I if this is anything like the game corner ooh, in the other games, we're going to be able to like do some shiz downstairs, right? There's like a base down here or something. Oh no, this is just the prizes. Coin case up in quiet. Oh yeah, cool. No, I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, I don't think I'm going to waste any time gambling in this so I'm not gonna get any of those prizes need some game coins it's 1000 can 50 coins yeah I'll have some don't have a coin case okay right I'm not I'm not wasting my time with this I'm not gonna get a coin case oh there's my gym guy by the looks of it but he's too busy to give a fuck about what I'm doing so I'm gonna sack him off and we'll go to the gym right so if there are any trainers to battle before we get to the end we're going to take them on. We're going to do it because we need the levels. I want to be knocking on level 20 before I get back to Hayward City. That's what I'm thinking. And... Oh, no, he's here, actually. Yo, champ in the making. Here's my advice. The leader, Lily, loves to use ice Pokemon. If you have fire or rock Pokemon, her Pokemon won't stand a chance. I've said Pokemon way too many times. It's not even a word anymore. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon! Splash. Ready for an ice fight? Ready. Born ready for sunshine. And he has a Swinob. Perfect. Now I'm hoping that Bonnie is going to be really useful here. And I can just mash this ember and wipe out most of these ice type Pokemon. There we go. Critical hit as well. Comes in absolute clutch. Level 17. That's going to be useful. Seal. Now, I just have this feeling that Seal's actually a water type. So, uh, Ember's not going to do anything. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. So, maybe ground type, does that do anything to water? It's not strong against ground type, is it? It's not resistant. Yeah, I mean, decent. Unless he actually goes for a water type move, which it doesn't look like he's going to. I'm pretty okay with that. Yeah, would have gone for the head, but I would have done nothing anyway. And there is Seal. Seal, Seal, Seal. And then we've got... Okay, so we've still got this little hoe right here to take on. Lily shouldn't waste her time with you. I shouldn't waste my time with Lily. She should just give me the badge and I'll just turn around and walk away. I'll do a full old Ash Ketchum, even though I don't win the battle. Somehow, I will get a badge. So, again, is, is, is shoulder an ice type or is it a water type? I feel like it definitely knows water gun, so I've got to be careful here. Goes for the tackle, which is fine. <sighs> Gets the critical, though, which is not fine. And we switch out. Now, if it knows an ice type move, I don't want to put Dishy out there. I'm sure it's water type before it evolves. Yeah, cool. So, I'm going to assume that I'm right with that. I'm going to go with that tactic. Super Sonic, which is super annoying. Confuses. We hit anyway. The absorb should be super effective. It is. One more of them. And we're going to be looking pretty shifty. Confuse no more. Now, oh, bang on. That couldn't have gone much better, to be honest. Oh! She just sticks the landing. And then we get the cut to finish you off then. Withdraw. Since I don't want to come up against the cloister, really because it's powerful and it will have ice type moves and it will probably finish me off okay so this is good 
don't really think I need to go back to the Pokemon Center right now. Stick a potion on this guy and we can whip through this gym in absolutely record time. So, Bonnie's my best bet to go out first and then we'll take it from there. Hi, you here to face me? Yeah, I'm on a quest to get all eight region badges, bitch, and compete in the league. Lily. Oh, wait, no, that's her name. Well, if you beat me, you get the hail badge. Give it your best shot. I'm going to give it my best shot, Lily. It's not going to be difficult. Stop cosplaying as Misty, Lily. And there's Jinx. Now, Jinx definitely is a nice type, but it's also a psychic type. Mummy doesn't scare me that much. X defend to start off with. Talking about setting up, jeez. Let me go for the Ember. Does good damage. Even with X defend there. Lick, that's a ghost type move. Bonnie doesn't care about that. It's not going to bother him. It can paralyze though, Lick, which would suck. But um, I'm already not. I'm already outspent anyway, so that doesn't really matter. If I get. Goes for a lovely kiss. What does that do? Lowers. Falls asleep. Interesting. Now, I feel like I can ride this sleep out because I've seen the moves that this Jinx has got and I know it's not going to beat me in the time it takes. There we go. Yeah, nice one. So I'll come around in time to finish it off. Beautiful. And maybe, depending on what comes out next, it might be a good time to heal up. Bonnie gets level 18, trying to learn. Leah? Oh, come on. Man, I was so excited then. I thought I was going to get something amazing. Make room for Leah. Yes. We will have Raw. Of course, Raw sucks. Leah at least is better than Raw. I never use Raw. Lapras. Ice water. Yes. We're going to go for this year now. It's weak to ice, I know that. But I feel like Lapras's primary type is water. So this should... Oh, he knows the ice beam though. For a low level, that's a good move to have. Hold on, hold on, hold on! Ah! This year, we spent so long together! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! God damn! I can't believe a fucking dish is gone! I guess it knows ice type moves then, yeah? Okay. This is interesting. No, 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 I'm not wanting to do it. Right, so let's get Savior out of there. It's not going to be affected that much by anything that Lapras does. It's probably not going to hurt Lapras that much either. But, if it turns into a stalemate, which it looks like... Oh, he gets the poison! That is... Beautiful timing. If he doesn't get too affected by anything that Lapras does, I'll use this time to heal up. Uh, now, what the fuck are you doing, man? What the fuck are you doing? Uses the X defend. Okay, so he's setting up now, so. But he's still got the poison. I feel like he's gonna like use a full restore right as he's about to die, though. It's just the sort of things you leaders do. So I'm going to put a potion onto Bonnie. And then we can switch Bonnie in and go for the Ember and see if that's enough to bring this guy down. Hurt back to poison again. It's going for Growl, which is... I mean, why bother? Because I'm doing no damage against you anyway. So, we're getting Bonnie. If he goes for the Ice-type move, we're okay. Mist, that is an Ice-type move. Shrouded in Mist, don't know what that means. Sorry. Hurt by poison goes to the ember. That's got to do some damage even though he's got the X defend. Oh, it's super effective but it still does nothing. But the thing is, Lapras hasn't got anything that can touch me right now. He's got that mist. Uh, he's got ice beam. What else has it used? Is that it? I don't feel like it's got a water type move. Oh! Oh! You were waiting for me, man! Oh! No, no, no! Why are 
hate this gym. Now I'm down to two. Okay. Focus. Book catches weak to ice. I'm just gonna have to keep Savior out there. Come, I was literally just saying, oh, I don't think it's got any water type moves because it's got the ice beam and it's got the mist. Idiot. But he's poisoned, so we can just ride him out, hit the bite, goes to the growl. He's just stalling now because he knows he's going to lose. I should have just kept Savior out there, man. I could have just stalled him, but I wanted to get it done quicker. Risked everything. But I don't know. I don't know anymore. That is depressing right there. Well, we get the badge anyway, so that's something. Hail badge lets you use cut anytime. Also, go and take this TM. Should help. <sighs> TM 13, right, what are we going to have? Ice Beam. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. We've got Ice Beam, we've got the badge. Oh, damn me. Let's just make a note. Don't be a twat again. Savior is getting absolute tacky. So we'll get rid of Tackle, we'll get Ice Beam on him. That's going to make him pretty powerful. Uh, and then we go sort out our dead mons. Damn it, I can't believe I've just lost two in one flipping episode. I can't even continue. I don't, what can I? Ugh. You're just gonna keep getting these like depressed sighs now. Because I mean, I felt like I was in such a good place. I thought Growlithe, you know, he's fire type. He's gonna finish Lapras off. I knew Lapras was part water type. So why did I even risk it that he could have a water type move, man? Go away, Pokemon lady. I am not talking to you right now. I heal up twice just for the fun of it. Daddy is still in the casino. He told me to wait here. Your dad does not love you. North of J J City. J City. These are all words that I can't say. I'd, I'd appreciate it if they'd use words that I can say. <sighs> oh, shit, yeah, I just sort of out. Oh, my mind is so scrambled right now. Like, my heart is aching a little bit. <sighs> so, let's. Uh, Sort me mons out. Okay, so we are going to deposit Bonnie. Sorry, Bonnie. Thanks for coming. And we're going to deposit Dishy. Thanks, Dishy. And then we are going to release both of these men. Oh dear. Well, I'm thinking then that. For the sake of uh, having a team that's not just two Pokemon, we're going to have to get Spodge back out here and just be very careful with him. Because I, I don't want to lose three Mons in one episode. I mean, why even bother carrying on if that happens? Shameful. So, let's switch you up to Torp. And let's go for a walk. Now, the next direction that I need to go is south, back to Haywood City, and then... It's either west or east. One of them, one way's not got anything. To... Yes, yes. So Haywood City is down at the bottom, and then east is going to put me across to wherever that place is. So I've gone up, down there. Route 66, I can't go down. Route 48, so I'm going for Route 63, and then Silk Tunnel. Silk Tunnel. Wow. And then Moraga Town. That's where I'm going. So let's get back to Haywood City. I can't hardly, I can't even, I just can't stop sighing. <sighs> and again. It's good though, it's good. We're, we're bouncing back from this. We can do it, you know? With the support of the mediocre masses, I'm going to make it and I'm going to be the champion. And Pidgey can, I'm not, you know, because you know, you know normal type moves like quick attack. 
and it's super effective. Quick attack being super effective is so OP. Normal should never be super effective against anything. Wrong. <sighs> okay, cool. So let's travel. Dum -de -dum, uh, travel. Oh yeah, I need to... Oh yeah, cut in this is not an automatic thing. You have to select the Pokemon that knows cut. Oh, put the Pokemon that knows cut away. This is a stressful episode. Next episode, I'm going to be refreshed. I'm going to come back. Not the Pokemon color cut! Oh. Now, because none of my legal Pokemon can learn cut, unless Do Duo can, but I don't think he can, uh, I am able to get a uh, HM Slave out of the box. Oh no, because I released him! Which means I'm allowed to catch somebody to just to use cut and not to do anything else with that is if not uh can't run cut which i don't think you can we'll find out cut no you can't okay so in that case um well i may as well stop here anyway you know because i couldn't get any worse i suppose it could only get better so the next episode will start on a good note because something good's going to happen. I'm going to get an amazing encounter. Maybe I'm going to get to the next gym and absolutely smash it. Maybe I'm going to find a master ball under a tree. And then just use that to catch Mew. That's probably going to happen. I'm predicting it now. And I am a psychic type. See you next time. Bro.